Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by my easy cooking channel. Um, I'm working with a new camera and a new microphone set up tonight. I've played with it a little bit, but I haven't tried to do a cooking video with it yet, so <laughs> you'll have to kind of bear with me and see what happens. I didn't have any sound a minute ago and I just realized my uh, microphone was plugged into the headphone jack, so <laughs> this could be interesting. All right, let's cook something here. I have a nice beef ribeye steak that I found it in the discount meat bin at Lucky's today, so I'm just gonna cook that in my toaster oven. I should probably cook it on the grill, but it's cold and rainy outside, so we'll just do that. And I have a new meat thermometer, a barbecue meat thermometer that I just got, so I'm gonna use that to uh, monitor the temperature of it. The steak has a pretty good amount of fat on it. Um, I think just to be different, I'm just gonna use some of this barbecue rub on it on both sides. Okay, now I'm just gonna take this probe to my barbecue thermometer and uh, just stick it right into the center of the steak here. Like that. And then we'll put it in the oven. I set the oven to 325 degrees and I put the rack on top like that. Put the tray underneath so the, the juice and the fat will drip into the tray. And if you don't have a fancy thermometer like this, then I'll just try to give you a guideline as to how long this took to cook. And um, if you don't have barbecue rub, you can just put salt and pepper on it or season salt or whatever you want. It's no big deal. Okay, uh, let's shut the oven door and uh, let it cook. The meat's been cooking about 20 minutes and the temperature here is about 154. I just shut it off a couple minutes ago, a little bit, at about 150, 148, but I forgot to turn my microphone on so you couldn't hear me. Um, I should probably mention that this sat out on the counter and came up to room temperature, so um, it would take a little bit longer to cook if you just pulled it out of the refrigerator, but it took about 20 minutes. Well, from here, that looks pretty darn good for a toaster oven steak. But let's cut into it and see what we got here. Well, it's kind of a medium, medium rare there. Let's have a bite of it. Wow, it's really good. Man, I can't believe a steak turned out that good in the toaster oven. <laughs> Thank you for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.